it yelling up there? What's wrong? Oh, nothing, nothing at all. Uh -huh. That's the kind of nothing that bothers me the most. I didn't hurt the award. Marsha always makes such a big deal out of everything. Jan, if those had been your awards and Marsha had dumped them somewhere, wouldn't you be upset too? I guess, but every time Marsha turns around, they hand her a blue ribbon or something. Oh, now, Jan, you know that isn't so. Marsha's worked very hard for those things. Well, all I hear all day long at school is how great Marsha is at this or how wonderful Marsha did that. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha! Now, sweetheart. All those awards staring me in the face was just too much. I'm tired of being in Marsha's shadow all the time. Now, Jan, you're not in anybody's shadow. Well, Marsha's three years older than you. She should have more to show for herself. Maybe, but everything comes so easy for her. Oh, Jan, come on. You have to be realistic about this. Nobody, nobody has smooth sailing all the time. Well, that's right. Marsha has her disappointments, too. She doesn't always win. You'll never guess what. I just got a call from the school. I've been made editor of the school newspaper. That's fine, honey. That's great, Marsha. I've got to call Jennifer. She'll just flip. <laughs> See what I mean? She wants to be editor. Boom, she's editor. Jan, you're really not being fair. You know that Marsha's been working on that for months. Look, honey, now if you really feel you're in your sister's shadow, do something about it. Get out and develop your own talent. That's right, Jan. Some of us are good at one thing and some of us are good at another. What? It's like your father and I always say, find out what you do best and then do your best with it. Maybe you're right, but what can I do best? Well, if you keep your eyes open, I'll bet you something will present itself.